Fisheries. It is the uh, 11th of June 2020 and this is my first session here at Baden Hall. I'm on the middle pool which is one of their runs waters. The rain's driving down, the wind's battering into the front of the bivvy. We're in the shallower end of the lake. I'm on peg 36 and uh, hopefully in this video uh, I've got a few fish on the bank to show you. Hopefully this Runswater lives up to its name as a Runswater and I'll keep you up to date throughout the session. Stay tuned in, hopefully you enjoy the video and um, I'll speak to you a little bit later on in the session. What's your bite lot I'm going to do? <laughs> There you go then, first fish for myself. Will's had one as you've already seen and um, it's just gone to a, a bright pink pop-up uh, taking about nine wraps with a scattering of uh, foily over the top. Haven't weighed this fish yet but um, first fish, brilliant to be off the bar, absolutely buzzing with the result. What a fish! Well, good afternoon. You join me at about, about four o'clock. Um, Will's just set up just down the bank behind me. There he is. Um, and uh, I've got my bivvy just over my shoulder, set up in peg number 36. Uh, he's, he's not in at all, it's just him being a pain. Um, basically, one fish between us so far, not complaining. Um, both really, really nice fish. Um, Put up a very good fight minded actually uh, it really kited round to the right it took a bit of line and it was a really enjoyable fight um, it's a very shallow end of the lake this uh, i've been informed by the bailiff that this is the shallower end and uh, it's quite an open bit of water so we're fishing about halfway across there they're about a little bit shorter than that because it's, we've been struggling with the wind to get get our bait out there with the catapult uh, when we've been putting our, our loose feed over the top and putting a bit of bait out so we've just chosen to come a little bit closer for that reason um, so we're about I'd, I'd say a third of the way out into open water fishing in about three to four foot of water and um, we've seen a few fish topping um, just uh, just out in front of us in that sort of area and a little bit beyond Wind's due to drop this evening, so hopefully we'll be able to get out a little bit further in terms of what we can what we can feed with, what we can get out with the catapult. Should have uh, had a spod rod really with us. Uh, didn't intend to fish out at that range, but I'm quite surprised how shallow the margins are. Up that the other end of the lake, there's deeper margins, six foot margins. Up here, I can literally well I've had to get in to walk out to land the fish twice because it is that shallow. Uh, before it drops off into the middle where it's the sort of like a bit of a channel running down the middle and that and that's where the fish seem to be showing and that's obviously where the bites seem to be coming from so um yeah hopefully this wind will drop a little bit hopefully you can hear me okay and uh i'll have a little chat later on with you hopefully another fish before then but if not we'll have a little chat i'll show you around baden hall fisheries and uh give you a bit more on my first impression thanks for thanks for watching stay tuned there you have it fish number two uh, again on a pink pop up with the goo, um, a little bit smaller this time. Last one was about 13 pounds, 13 and a half. This is eight pound on the nose. Um, first mirror, uh, a little bit different, and uh, hopefully we'll have a few more as the evening now sets in, and uh, the fish hopefully get get on the feed. As you can see, here on Baden Hall Middle Pool, um, I'm quite impressed really with some of the pegs we've got here. Um, really nice wood chip pegs, perfect size for uh, you know your, your medium to larger bivvies. Uh, Will has got a two-man bivvy, mine is a one-man, um, but they do fit on really nicely actually, and. Uh, I don't even need to put my ground sheet in because it's freshly wood chipped, nice and dry, and there's a bit of tree cover this side as well. Nothing else since the last fish for myself. Um, Will hasn't had anything either um, since his fish, but we've seen a couple show. 
Um, we've got plenty of line bites, so hopefully we've got a few fish in the area. Hopefully they are passing through. Um, and both of the rods are out in open water. So uh, fingers crossed going into the evening. It's about uh, six o'clock now. We'll be getting our, uh, our dinner on very soon. And uh, with a bit of luck, we'll have another fish or two on the bank before, uh, before dark. If not, um, I'll uh, update you later. Um, but so far, so good. Enjoying the session. Big Nord middle pool, a lot of potential. A lot of potential for a lot of runs on the right day if you're on the, on the fish. Um, and probably quite a good water in, in those difficult conditions. You're always got a decent chance of a bite here. So if you want to bend in the rod, uh, I'd say Baden Hole Middle Pool is my first trip. Two fish so far, and uh, enjoy. Another fish, number three for me. Really enjoying my session now here at Middle Pool, Baden Hall. Haven't had a chance to have me dinner yet, but I've put a little bit of bait out now. So I recast both rods, nine wraps, put a little bait out, a little bit of bait out, essentially fishing the margins because the edge is so shallow here. I'm fishing three, four foot of water, the margins, just as it starts to slope off, even though I am out at about 10 wraps, nine or 10 wraps. So lovely fish. Let's hope for a few more cracking results. Well, you join me. It's now uh, the next morning. Bivvies are down, only thing left out is the rods. We've got to be off by 9 a.m. Uh, it's about quarter past eight now. So we're basically packed up and all we've got is a short walk down the path there back to where the cars are parked. Really enjoyed my first session here at Baden Hall. Um, a little bit of uh, criticism from myself uh, there are a lot of pegs on this lake. It is it is a runs water. It is a commercial fishery, commercial day ticket. But as you can see, there are quite a few pegs that are quite close to each other. And uh, at the moment, the lake is running on half capacity due to COVID-19. Um, so they've they've reduced the numbers. But if this was you know a busy summertime day session, and there were a lot of people here, most pegs were in. I would feel like it's a little bit crammed. I would like to see less pegs on a lake, um, but it's one of them. It's a day ticket water, it is a commercial fishery. So uh, it's only to be expected really from, from somewhere like this. If you want to get a few bites, if you'd like to try somewhere a bit different, well, not a bit different, a bit, a bit, you know, a new venue maybe, somewhere that you haven't fished before, or even if you, you've been before and you, you know that you want a few bites, Baden or Middlepool does seem to be a really good option. Uh, there's a good head of fish to go out in here, the range in between, um, well, they go up from low doubles and high singles right up to um, the £27 koi that's in here apparently. And if you catch that, as you'll probably know if you've looked on the website, you get free 48 hours fishing. So uh, we're all getting packed up, a little bit of a, a mess at the moment because we're uh, getting our gear away. But um, as I say, we'll be back at the car, walking that gear back to the car in a minute and then heading out for 9am when uh, it's sort of changed over time. As you can see, pegs are quite close together over there. That's my only criticism. Apart from that, lovely lake, lovely surroundings, um, a lot of fish to go at. So uh, quite an enjoyable session, really. I've enjoyed my first first session here. Uh, it's been nice to have a few fish out and uh, an excellent place to come uh, and get a few bites.